Welcome friends, let's take a look at finding this limit as t approaches negative infinity of t. So first, let me just show you in a graph why we have to use L'Hopital's. So it's going to look like the following. Graph t, and then graph the other one there. So that's going to look like e to the t this way. e to the t, which is the green graph, it goes to zero. The black graph, which represents t, goes to negative infinity. So this is, in other words, thus far of the following form. Negative infinity multiplying zero. So that's not the right form. You cannot use L'Hopital's with that. So here, for that reason, what you have to do is you have to transform this so that it looks like this. The limit now as t goes, again, to negative infinity. And then you're going to write this as t divided by e to the negative t. So graph still t. And then graph to it next, the other one, e to the negative t. And now look at the difference. e to the negative t goes to positive infinity in the green graph. And then t by itself goes to negative infinity. So now you have essentially negative infinity divided by positive infinity. That tells you L'Hopital's is the right way to treat it. So back here, for the purposes of taking a limit, you're going to have the limit as t approaches negative infinity. And then you're going to differentiate t in the top, which is just 1. You're going to differentiate by the chain rule that yellow part e to the negative t, which is going to give you negative e raised to the negative t and then from here by simple keep change flip the limit as t again approaches negative infinity and then you're going to take that negative put it out here and then the bottom e to the negative t gets flipped up top so it becomes back e to the positive t this way now this here is equal to zero if you have trouble understanding why that is so do a graph here quickly so put here negative e raised to the t and that looks like the black graph that you see and as you can see that as t goes towards negative infinity the graph approaches the x-axis, which in other words, of course, is y equals zero. Let me remove that other one because that's not really needed here. And that's it. So thank you, friends. I'll see you in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe.